<laughs> There's like a mess in the back seat. Oh, well. There's ah, a mess. I don't know what's back there. It's your mess. Oh, okay. Okay, so just impromptu, we were on our way to a thrift store and bypassing a garage sale today. What is this? In the this? middle of January. In the middle of January. Was not expecting this, so. It don't happen in PA. Yeah. I was so excited. We were one past and I thought the sign said grass sale, like grass for a sale. I'm like, I'm selling grass right now. But yeah, so let's, let's go. go take a look. Where are you going to start? Like right over here? I'm going in. You're going in. Oh my gosh. Check it out. All this stuff. All this stuff is free. We'll have to check that out after we're done looking around. Seriously, we'll better. Oh, wow. We're really old. You're getting the wrong I think I went in the wrong side. Yeah, we're yeah. on the outside. <laughs> Anti dandruff rins. <laughs> that is old. Oh, that's precious. Doll and accessories. What year is that from? 1975. Only a dollar. Holy crap. <laughs> it's an old milk carton. From Rudders, we were just there. I got some sweet corn bites. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got at least one piece. There. It looks like, it looks like well, landscaping type deals. Yeah, like the. Yeah. Oh, they're very dry though. The whole box. Of yeah, there's some like more of it down there. Stop. I found something over here. Oh, did you? Well, Is let's go. Report? I'm not done looking over here, but we'll we'll take a peek. Let's take a peek. It's a whole box. Pretty. Ten dollars for the box. Does stuff have chippies? It's gonna be hard to Here's say. They got it packed up. Just Japan. Oh, it's definitely old then. There's like a whole thing. Cool. Is that a chip or just where the paint is? <clears throat> no, it's not a chip. It's just the way the paint is. Okay. Because it's it's glossy, like the yeah. whatever. It's almost like a mystery box. Yeah, it is. Well, we can get that. Let me just look at one more just in case. That looks like maybe the bottom for that lid we were just looking at. It's really pretty. They almost have like a basket weave look for them. Okay. Okay. Oh, here's more dishes. Are you sure? It's ten bucks. Yeah. It's a mystery. It is a mystery. 
Jim Co. It's an anchor hockey. I swear I was just looking at this yesterday. On. It's an anchor hawking. Yeah. There's like a whole nother room in there too. But you probably didn't even. I did look over there. Hi, Soiling Dead. This is a pretty vase. Made in China. $2. Prices are really good here. What's this? It's older. It's like a communion statue. What's this? A candle. A bunch of boys' bear. Or at least teddy bears. Maybe they're not all boys, or maybe none of them are. <laughs> Look at that cat chef cookie jar. <laughs> That's cute. Oh, look at this. Precious. This could yep. be worthless. Yep. I'm look over on this side. Vintage false graph. Lazy Susan. I like that. It's from 1978. Cute strawberry print on it. What's over here? What's down in this box? There's actually pads in here. No, they're needlepoint. Oh, needlepoint kits. Let's take a look at that. Let's see what's in here. Are they new? Or have they all been opened? Oopsie. Make it a mess. Yeah, it looks like mostly they have been. There's some that. No, that was open too. See, the ones that have been open, it's hard to say if all of the stuff is in it. That's kind of cool though. I wonder how much these are. Um, it doesn't say. Look at that tissue cover. Holder back here. I'd assume that's for a box of tissues. It is. It's a seashell. What's that, Eric? You finding something? Yeah, I just was digging in there. Most of them are open, but this one looks like it's still sealed. Oh, I, I want these. Oh, there's another box? There's a box there and then there's one right Oh, I here. didn't see that box. I was just in that box. But it seemed like most of them were open. It's open, but not started. That too. I don't know how much those are. What was in the other room? We gotta go in there yet. I'm getting this stuff here. What'd you do with that box? Oh, you're just kind of carrying it around. All right, let's look in here. Oh, it's nice and brightly lit. I feel like I'm in like a, a store right now. <laughs> you know what? It? It's like being in a store. A lot of DVDs, a lot of VHS, and records. Oh, that tray's really pretty. What 12 for that. 
Yeah, I want to go through some of these clothes for sure. Oh, there's another um, Lazy Susan down there. in here. More false craft. Some older um, scarves. Is this just fabric down here? Yeah, just fabric scraps. Oh yeah, there's a whole set of um, false craft here. I just leave my pile right there on the chair. <coughs> Oh, do you want me to put it on the box yeah, of, yeah, better. let's just do that. I kind of just want to quickly skim through some of these clothes. So, I thought someone took all the free stuff, but they just moved it over here. So, I got some more stuff to look through. Got some bags in here. This definitely look older. Got some, I don't know, mold. <laughs> swimsuit. I did buy a swimsuit. Check out this lunchbox. Love that. That reminds me of like elementary school. Digging, digging, digging. Digging, digging, digging. You just never know what you'll find. You know? Could be some treasures. Could be treasures out here. There's still a number of good pieces. For ten dollars. Not that bad. Bob and Alice. Seem better to you. This is a skirt. Is this thing? Oh, it looks like an old earwax thing <laughs> to suck out earwax. That's plastic. What's this day? The beginning experience. <laughs> Why? All right. Oh, I think we're good. All right, guys. So we are done at that kind of impromptu yard sale. Just kind of found it on a whim. Was driving right past. We had to turn the car around. I was like, nope, nope. We got to stop. <laughs> this garage sale so i'm glad we did we did buy a couple things we got a box full of old um dishes i don't really know much about them it's gonna be kind of like a mystery to go through it so i thought really it would be fun them. yeah we saw a litter too and i was like yeah we'll buy the they box were really for 10 cool bucks. it'll be looking. fun we'll open it up we'll see what's in there yeah and then i got a couple other um random things as the well said they were from the 50s that's all i know yeah, we'll have to try and look them up, see if we can find anything. If not, maybe one of you guys will recognize um, who they could potentially be by. Um, but I think overall, well, we spent $10 for those dishes, and then I bought a couple random things. So $12 altogether, so that's not bad. But we are currently in the parking lot of a thrift store that we have never been to before. They're actually closing soon, so <laughs> want to get in here and see, just kind of like check it out. Like, I don't really know what to expect just because we've never been here before so we're gonna go on inside and see if we can find any goodies you ready <laughs> let's go <laughs> very no donations here <laughs> okay so it says green dot stickers are half price 
I guess we start wow. here. There's a lot of stuff here. Gotta be like slightly quick just because they're not open for very, very long. Parmesan. I like Parmesan. I love Parmesan. That's like the best cheese ever. <laughs> Got a little chair to try on all the shoes here. You guys know I love my my shoes. These are Clark's. What are their prices like here? This will give us an idea. $3. That's not bad. That is not bad. Kombu. It's harder to see the ones here on the top. Is there Lauren Conrad? These are pretty. Rockport. Total motion. Those are nice. Of course I am. Here I am at the shoes, you know. It's my favorite. <laughs> that and purses. Those are simply Vera Vera Wang. Do, 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 do. Can't leave a stone unturned, you know? What are these back here? See, these are Clarks. Okay. This is really cute. It's Norataki for a dollar. Like, that's really cute. I love the handle on that. And the print. What's that say? Hand paint. Oh, that's nipping. You guys told me how to pronounce that, and I don't remember oh, already. Yeah, Nippon. Nippon. That sounds good. I think that's pretty. Is that a sugar bowl? Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't want to do that unless it was a creamer with it. I get ya. Do ya. I get you. It's okay. What's that? It's okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at the scrubber <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> The clown. This is really pretty too. Boom China. That's gorgeous. of yellowed on the back. What's this? Spain. That's nice. For two dollars. Regency. Highmark giftware. That says made in Japan. Oh, it's a kitty. I see the kitty. timeout chair. I need to put Eric Eric on that. What I do? Oh, well, maybe nothing right now, but you will give you a reason to put you on there. Oh <laughs> my gosh, what is in here? Ooh, there's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of stuff to look at. A lot of clothes. Over here looks like toys. Books. Cards. Got over here. A little strawberry magnet. Check that out. This is pretty cool, actually. 
Like, that's really neat looking. It's a top hat, but made of, like, milk glass. That's unique. I like the uniqueness of that, for sure. Oh, Mickey. Disney Pals. Sheets. Not seeing anything really in the linens. Popping out at me, I like bright colors. It's hard. You might want to. How much is it? Three bucks. <clears throat> well, pick it up. Did you want to go through any of these ties? Oh. No. Oh, sorry. Hey, what are these guys? What is the guy? Mm. I'm listening. Talk to me. This is like I feel like I say that a lot. I'm listening. No, Talk to me. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. Hey, this one is made by. Yeah, I saw one of them over there. My mom's favorite. <clears throat> Jeffrey Bain. Sorry. It's just too basic. That's too basic, he says. Moving along. Moving along. Here we go. Sexy glow in the dark underwear. Get these for Eric. Men's brief. Size large. Glow in the under glow in the dark underwear may cause uncontrollable laughter. <laughs> I just need these in case I lose them in the dark. <laughs> How risque. I love it. Alright. Let's look through the jackets real quick. Not a whole lot of men's jackets. Let's go try to find the women's clothes. Liz. Jewelry. What is this? Oh, just like little <laughs> hair extensions. I'm trying to decipher what that is. Is it like a skunk? What does that say on the back? Oh, great. Creative memories. Bingo. Um, like right in that area. So, what an elephant pin. Looks like someone maybe made that. Myrtle Beach. Myrtle Beach. I like motorcycles. <laughs> yeah. Looks like a men's ring. Oh, it's rubber. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Well, those are actually like, I see them all the time on Facebook. The rubber yeah. uh, rings. Who What's this? That? It looks like Minnie or Mickey Mouse. That's really cute. What's that say on the back? It probably actually is like a brand that's out right now. It says Disney, but I can't read what's under it. Ooh, I like that. That's really pretty. Does that say Avon? It's definitely marked, but I can't tell what it says. Roman. Yeah, that's Roman. Roman? How much is it? Two dollars. Alright guys, so we are home from thrifting and stopping at that garage sale. Oh my gosh, that was just so exciting. I about just had a heart attack when we drove past and I saw that there was a garage sale. It was really nice outside today, temperature wise, considering it's January in the middle of winter, but yeah. So I'm gonna share with you what I picked up at the yard sale first, and then I'll show you guys what we got thrifting. So I did end up, um, Eric had found kind of like a mystery box of just ceramics and 
I don't know exactly what all is in it. We just like opened up a couple of the, like unwrapped a couple of them while we were at the sale just to kind of get an idea of what exactly it was. And we still haven't found out um, who it's actually made by or anything like that from what we were seeing. So if anyone like recognizes it when we do go through the box, I will do that at the end of this video. So definitely stay tuned um, to see that. So let's just get started with the yard sale stuff first. Um, there was a lot of old stuff at this yard sale, um, so I was just really excited about all of it. I did find two pieces of clothing. This first one is a vintage sweater. It is by Greg Norman for Reebok. And Greg Norman, that's a golfer, right Eric? Yeah. Greg Norman. Yeah. Um, so this is probably from, oh, I guess like the 80s or early 90s. You can see just the colorful kind of color blocking print there on it and it was one dollar so that was a really good deal i have to i have to clean it obviously this kind of smells a bit like a nursing home uh but looking this up similar sweaters by greg norman for reebok and um, we're selling pretty high so i'm gonna list this probably around the 30 to 40 dollar range i would say maybe like 39.99 free ship is what i'm probably gonna go for for that so not too bad for getting it for a dollar uh next thing i picked up you guys will see i think i picked up a pack of reach dental floss and the reason being is that some like vintage um, personal hygiene items um, that are obviously brand new um, that maybe they don't make anymore people buy, whether that's um, for collectible purposes for advertising or, you know, there are sometimes potentially like um, TV show uh, people buy stuff for like props for TV shows and movies and stuff like that that are looking for, you know, something that came from that time period that's still new, you know what I mean? Uh, but I did pick up this box of Vaseline Intensive Care Moisturizing Bath Beads in Gentle Breeze scent. So this, they don't make these anymore. I'm not quite sure why, but um, these here are selling for about $29.99 free ship. So that's probably what I will list this box for. And our bill at the yard sale, I think she ended up selling, um, selling the stuff like when, like, cause this didn't have a price and something else didn't have a price either. And so I think maybe she like gave some stuff for free. Like maybe she thought this was kind of like, you know, not really worth anything. So she just let me have it. So I honestly think that was free, which is awesome. Uh, I also had found like a big box full of, um, just like these craft kit type things. There were some like needlepoint crafts and things like that. And ones that are still sealed, some of them go for a lot of money. Um, I don't like buying ones that are open only because I can't tell for certain if everything is there. So I don't like to do that gamble just in case. I don't want to have like, you know, return issues if something's missing. So I look for ones that are still sealed. So this one was sealed and I just absolutely fell in love with it. Like this is just so cool and I think someone will really love doing this. So this is, um, pre-cut plastic canvas kit and it's called munchies and look at them so you can make a little basket of french fries a cheeseburger and a sundae so it has everything in here to make it and then you know you could like uh, put like a magnet on the back of these and turn it, turn them into magnets or even like put a ribbon or something around this and turn it into like a bookmark or you know whatever you want to do so i thought that was just super fun and interesting i think this is from yeah 1989 so brand new in the packaging i did not see this one in particular listed or anything like that so for me that means i can kind of make up my own price for it and give it a price and i'm probably going to list it maybe around the 20 ish dollar range just because i know some of them can really go for a lot of money and that one is really unique in my opinion 
And then also at the yard sale, I got this bathing suit. This is a vintage swimsuit. And looking up the brand, I came to the realization that it is from the 60s. So that's super fun. Um, it has this um, partition down here, so it kind of looks like um, like a swim dress type thing, but you do have like the one piece um, underneath of it. So it was in really nice condition. One, one of the things to look at, like if you're looking at swimwear, especially if it's vintage, make sure the elastic in it isn't dry rotted. So you just have to kind of like, you know, stretch the elastic, make sure it still stretches, um, like stretch the uh, bands and everything like that. And obviously like if you're buying any kind of used swimsuits, whether they're vintage or not, as gross it is, as it is, you want to check the crotch area and just make sure, you know, there's no <laughs> gross staining or anything in there. Uh, but I did end up paying $1 for this. And like I said, it's vintage from the 60s. I only saw a pair of men's swim trunks by this brand. And I didn't even tell you guys the brand of it. It is, hold on, let me find the tag. Banger Rabana, if I'm pronouncing that properly there we go banger banger ribana so a dollar for this swimsuit i had only saw a pair of men's swim type trunks listed um, but i was seeing other swimsuits by this brand on like etsy and stuff like that and some of them were really high. So considering none are listed on eBay right now, I'm kind of gonna set a price for this. And I was thinking probably like $49.99 free ship. Vintage swimsuits um, can fetch good money. So that's definitely something to look for. Just remember, like I said, check the, the elastic and the uh, crotch area. <laughs> it sounds so gross, but <laughs> you don't wanna be selling anything nasty. So. Like I said, the mystery box will be at the end. We are going to go into the thrift store stuff. So this was the first time ever going to this thrift store and the prices were really good. And the selection wasn't like amazing or anything like that, but I definitely, like if ever I'm in the area, I'll probably stop. So first thing I decided to pick up were these jeans and these are brand new. They still have the tag attached. They are by Campus Jeans USA and it still has a price tag of $85 they were originally and I paid $3. They're women's size 12. Really nice pair of jeans. They have some distressing on them and these actually were I guess sold at Penn State um, College and on the back pocket it actually has the Nittany Lion logo there. So I thought that was a great deal for $3. Um, I plan on listing these for about $39.99 free shipping. So that was a really awesome score. Brand new nice jeans, especially anyone who um, you know, loves the Nittany Lions or even goes to a Penn State. Then in the men's section, I found this vintage Big Mac. This is a men's work shirt. Um, it was from JCPenney's, probably, I would guess, in the 50s. This is probably from the 50s. You can kind of tell um, the vintage tag there. And then it even says, it doesn't even say JCPenney's, it just says pennies. So this was originally $3, but anything with an X, red X through the tag was a dollar. So I only paid a buck for this. So it's just a men's long sleeved work shirt. It's still kind of stiff, like it still feels rather new. And it's in like a mustardy kind of color, I would call that. Um, so this here, I will probably list at $29.99 free ship. It seems like the, the blue ones like this, the chambray ones, go for a bit more, but I mean, I still can't complain. I only paid a dollar for it, so um, that was a good deal. And then I was looking at the jewelry, and I did end up picking up a necklace. So I think she 
ended up charging me less for this as well because this was $2.50 and my bill was um, $5.50 altogether. So three for the jeans, a dollar for the shirt, and then she only charged me $1.50 for the necklace. So this is really pretty. Um, the signature on it, like I didn't recognize and I don't think it's anything too amazing. It has a signature, it just says Roman on the back, but the necklace itself is really pretty. It's on a shorter gold toned chain and then it's just like a gold, um, bar, kind of, kind of slightly squiggly. Um, and then it has rhinestones kind of encrusted into into the bar so it was very pretty very like classic looking would go with a lot of nice things especially like a black dress or a nice black sweater um so yeah that ended up being a dollar fifty and it's probably not really worth a whole lot i'll probably list it at 19.99 free ship um cause just because it is really pretty and classic and i think someone will really like that design so that is all of that. Now I'm going to open up all of that mystery box um, from the yard sale. So the mystery box was $10 and yeah, we were just really interested. And Eric was like the most interested in it. And I was kind of like, oh, I don't know. Cause it was $10 and we really didn't know what all was in it. And if there's gonna be um, issues with anything and that type of stuff. But we just went ahead with it. So it was $10. She was a nice lady. She deserved 10 bucks. She was a nice lady. She was a nice lady. So, okay, here's the box. Here is the box and it is filled. So I'm just gonna sit this down and pull stuff out and show you guys. So first thing is this vase and I'm pretty sure everything uh, just looks exactly like this. Like it all kind of goes together, sort of like a, a collection. I'm not sure what these things are. They look like pears, like two pears and then I don't know why, but these remind me of like radishes, but I don't know if that's what they are. Maybe they're pomegranates? I'm not entirely sure, but then there is kind of like leaves and then what I would consider like a basket weave. It's kind of a crazy combination all together if you think about it. Um, but it sounds like this when I talk through the vase. So this is um, the vase and I don't know if I really see anything wrong with it. So that looks like that. Very, very pretty. These are just so cute. All right, so the next item looks like this and I do have the lid sitting in front of me already. So it's just a covered jar. And again, same theme. We got the pears, the what I want to call radishes, the leaves, and the basket weave. So this comes off and then the inside just looks like that. And this one does still have its Japan sticker here on the bottom. And the lady did say that these were from the 50s because that's when she bought them. Um, she couldn't remember where she bought them, but she said she definitely bought them in the 50s. So next thing is another just covered dish, similar to the one I just showed, except slightly bigger, and I'll hold them up together so you can kind of see the size difference. It's just ever so slightly larger, but same motif. This has kind of like a luster wear type look to it. And that's what the inside looks like. And I'm not really seeing anything wrong with the, oh, this does have a chip here on the, right there on that side. But if you are displaying it, you could just display it on that side. Ooh, next item, this looks like a planter possibly. It just looks like this. Same thing. This definitely has, um, <laughs> it looks like you can see right here, it was cracked broke and then they glued it but it's still like missing a piece in there you kind of see it better from this side you see that right there 
So yeah, it sucks that some of these are broken, but they're still really, really pretty. So it looks like that. Got another one here. Oh wow, I love this. Like so far, I think this one is my favorite. So this just is a tray and it's kind of like centered off into four um, different compartments there. And that too has the Japan sticker on the bottom. And I don't see anything wrong with that. So that's, that's nice because that one's probably my favorite piece. So these next two things are a pair of candle holders. So these would be for um, taper, tapered candles. So those ones are really cute. Oh, there's a chip. Yeah, there's a chip on this one on that side. Just right there. If you guys recognize whatever fruit that is, because it can't be a radish. <laughs> I just don't know what it is. All right, next guy here. Ooh, this is really pretty. Oh, please don't let anything be wrong with this one. So this is a dish footed. It has a pedestal here on the bottom. And, oh gosh, look at how gorgeous that is. It's so, so pretty. Oh, look, you can really tell how old that is on the bottom, that cloth there. It's pretty, pretty yellowed. Oh, it kind of came came apart here, but I think this kind of screws the um, pedestal on tighter because it is like slightly loose, so I have to tighten it just a tad. Um, but looking at it, it looks like it's in good condition. So that's exciting. I really like that. It's so pretty. You could use this as like a little like candy dish or anything like that. So super gorgeous. In this pink tissue paper. Ooh, so this is a set too. Yep, there is two of these. And these are just two little, I'm assuming these are trinket trays. I mean, I feel like everything now when I look at it, it's like, is that an ashtray? <laughs> but I think these are just like little trinket trays, but I guess they could be ashtrays. But just small little trays or dishes. Um, you could even use these as like a little soap dish too, like to put in a bathroom. That would be really cute. And it doesn't look like anything is wrong with those either. So that's exciting. Um, I'm not sure what I'm doing with these yet. Um, the stuff that does have chips, obviously I'm not comfortable um, reselling. So those pieces I may just kind of um, donate to the thrift store if um, maybe. I don't know. Like I feel bad throwing them away, but it's like I also don't want to donate like broken stuff to the thrift store. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with the chipped items, but the stuff that's not chipped, um, I'll probably either list separately or as like an entire lot on eBay. But I still need to research it a little farther because I don't know exactly um, like if it has a maker or that kind of thing. I just know they're from the 50s according to this lady and obviously they were made in Japan. So if anyone would recognize them by any chance, just let me know down in the comments. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, just definitely an impromptu yard sale video because we were just gonna go to the thrift store today. So that was just super fun. Um, and I think we got a lot of good things. So I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time. Sha -la 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 -la. This is how we do it.